Well, hey there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear, and uh, I got a massive update video for you guys. Um, this is mostly going to be regarding the ROG Ukrainian made knives, um, which are all in stock. And there are a lot of new things coming out regarding knives, and so I want to just throw out this video out there, show you guys what we have in stock. We currently have all of our knives in stock. Um, ready to send out which was uh, took us a while to get that going actually uh, was in, in contact with our guy in Ukraine that makes all these for us and um, He's been trying to really stay busy um, You know speaking to the situation in Ukraine too here um, he's been He's been potentially going to be drafted to the to the army um, And he kind of signed up as a volunteer fighter and is just waiting waiting on that to, to, to take place potentially but in the meantime he's We've been closely working with him and he's been really eager to get as much things out there as possible. So anyway, that's what we have all of these currently in stock and some new things. And I'm going to show you what we have. And um, please, regarding all of these, all the details and everything, please reference our website, which will be down in the description below. Um, all the prices are also on there. And I will just briefly mention some of the materials and everything, but I'll try to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, and hopefully answer some questions and also please reference our other videos i will link them in the um, little information button here and also down below just in more detail on some of these knives okay so here we go this one here is one of our first knives i'm going to kind of start out with the very first ones that we came out with because we've added to our line this is the rog puko um, all of them have this uh, iron wood most of these knives do anyway and then this is the s90 v steel it's a beautiful knife. Please see the video for a full full video on that one. So we have several of those in stock. The next one I have here is also one of our more historical knives. This is the ROG Bushcrafter. So as you can tell, um, you know, they have variety in terms of the wood grain and everything like that. But man, look at that. That's what it looks like. This one comes with a brown sheath, but sometimes actually comes with a with a black sheath um, so you might get one like that let me just show you one of those this is an example of one that comes with a black sheath uh, this is a, a beautiful looking knife though look at that shape let me get this a little brighter for you here there we go so that's the rog bushcrafter next one also one of our first knives that we came out with in our series is the rog bowie version one so and it's a big knife, but man, it's beautiful. Look at this thing. So this one has a lot more polishing. Um, it's a lot more for, you know, hunting and things like that. I'm um, a lot, uh, as well as just, you know, all around. It does not really good for bush crafting exactly, like for striking a file with fire steel and all that. But otherwise it's a beautiful knife. Comes with a sheath, just like that. Next we have our ROG Bowie version two. So that's kind of similar to the knife that you just saw. Um, but this is the second version, which means it basically has a bigger and a little bit of a bigger uh, blade and this little grip here for your fingers like that. Um, and it's just bigger. I mean, you can see how big that thing is. It's beautiful. One of my favorites is actually this one as well as another one, which is coming up in a second. I'll show you that. So ROG Bowie two. Next is the Hunter version one. And this is one of my favorite knives. By the way, thus far, all the knives have had S90V steel and ironwood. This is the first one that actually has this mammoth tooth. And this is the version one. This is actually one of my favorite shapes of all of our knives. I think this one is just amazing. The way that it's, uh, the way that it's shaped and just the way it feels in the hand, everything about it. The specific shape that I requested um, from Alex when he was making them for us. So mammoth tooth petrified all the rest of it beautiful knife comes with a sheath we got a couple of those in stock then we go to the rog um, hunter version 2 and this one has a bigger blade has a bigger piece of mammoth tooth and then the, these corian inserts and um yeah that's what that one looks like it's beautiful and just compared to the rog um, hunter one just so you can see kind of the size difference it's a little bit different there we go you can see all the details on the size though in the detailed videos and the detailed 
photos on our website and um, in the videos like I described. And the next one that was introduced, and this is the ROG uh, Scout. Okay, so this is the way that the very first Scout came out. It has this um, kind of forged look. Um, this has a new kind of steel. It's called uh, X, um, X12F1 steel. It's a Ukrainian Slavic steel, or like Russian Ukrainian steel. Soviet steel, I should say. Um, it's a beautiful knife. A, lot e a little bit easier to sharpen than the S90V. Um, and it's a lot less expensive because of the steel. The, the uh, CPM steels are just very expensive, as you might know. Now this is a couple new ones. So these are not yet even posted, but these are gonna be called the Scout version two and Scout version three. So this is the Scout, um, this is the Scout version two, which is polished and then has this brushing right here, but it has this, um, this has this insert of the mammoth tooth, petrified mammoth tooth, okay? Comes with a black sheath and included dangler. And then the Scout version three, very similar, but, so it has the insert, but now we have this forged piece here. Like like it just left with the uh, kind of the raw looking forge. But again, the way these are different, if you're wondering from the Hunter, is that these have um, a lot softer steel. So meaning not a lot softer, I shouldn't say that, but it's not S9DV, it's the X12 F1. So check that out. Um, there'll be links again on the website and you can just look it up, X12 F1 steel. Um, but they're a lot less expensive than the hunter knives because you know the hunter knives are kind of intended to cut and hit bone and things like that so they have to be a little bit more um i guess uh, a little bit more durable but that's that one we have another two new knives actually uh, that are going to be beautiful and i'm going to start with the new hunter version 3. so this thing is ridiculous Check this out. So it's about as big as the Hunter version two in terms of the length, but it has a way bigger piece of mammoth tooth in it, which is really expensive. Petrified mammoth tooth that's being excavated up in like Siberia, I think, or in other places in, you know, in Europe. Um, it's got the S90V steel. It's got a lot more detail here in the, in the handle. Um, and let me just see if I can zoom in on that for you so you can take a look. But yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. And the other really nice piece to this knife is the sheath. So we'll have a full video probably coming out on this eventually, but that's the sheath. Um, again, this sheath and the knives are, knife are both made in Ukraine. And this has this new uh, kind of enclosure system. So this is gonna be one of our most expensive knives, actually the most expensive knife thus far, just because it has the snake skin here. And um, it has this uh, different kind of hanger system. And then this closure like that, it's beautiful. This is an amazing knife. So that's the Hunter version three. And lastly, our newest edition, or I don't know, I've kind of hinted at this on our Instagram but this is the tactical, ROG tactical knife, version one. Um, and this is not the final version. It's actually gonna come with a Kydex sheath and it has this gunmetal gun metal brushing. Um, it looks amazing, guys. This is quite a knife. And then it has this G10 scales with some inserts, um, you know, and then just kind of this um, chipped at a uh, chipped kind of finish on the G10. And um, it's a little bit more roughly this roughly made. Alex actually started making these when the war started uh, in Ukraine and he's been sourcing these to a lot of the guys there. And uh, he thought, and actually a lot of people got really, really interested in these. And I'll have more videos on, on these coming out um, that'll have the sheath and a little bit more to them. So it's an amazing knife. It's the X12 F1 steel. And um, so it's not as expensive. This is actually the least expensive knife we offer. So you're gonna, you're gonna like it, I think, if you're into this kind of thing. So there it is, guys. Those are all the new knives. Um, please leave your questions below. Um, email me 
or rather comment down below. Um, check our website out. It's going to have everything on there. And I will hope to post new new videos of what's going on. There have been a lot of changes changes in uh, at Review Outdoor Gear. Um, you know, both Vlad and I are married now. We have children. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you know, it's finishing school and everything else. Just a lot of changes. We're not able to keep up with as many videos lately, as you guys are obviously able to tell there. Um, and hopefully some of that will start to get a little bit better. But I can't promise. It's just really hard to keep up with everything. And... Um, you know, we do what we can and, uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what's going on in the background. Um, we do, we have actually two locations now too, um, in terms of where we're working from and building everything for you in terms of like the sheaths and everything else, like the, uh, the ax sheets and all of that stuff. But please check out our website. Please let me know if you guys have any questions and, um, get back to me on that. And I hope that, uh, you know, holidays coming up, you guys can make some nice gifts if you're interested. And also this is another, another you know, potential way to support, um, support Ukraine and Alex over there um, because the more you guys order of course the more I order from him but I've I really really pushed to order as many as I can even without uh, without you guys ordering them just because I figured I'd support him as much as I can and, and he's been really happy to help so that's that thank you guys so much uh, leave any questions I appreciate your support thank you for supporting our business and for supporting our family and praise God see you later